a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Machine Head Band Machine Head is an American heavy metal band from Oakland, California. The band was formed in 1991 by vocalist slash rhythm guitarist Rob Flynn and bassist Adam Duce. The band's aggressive musicianship made them one of the pioneering bands in the new wave of American heavy metal. Machine Head's current lineup comprises Flynn and bassist Jared McEachin, longtime drummer Dave McLean, and lead guitarist Phil Demmel will leave the band following their current tour. Duce, lead guitarists Logan Madder and Aru Luster and drummers Tony Costanza and Chris Contos are former members of the band. Machine Head's first four albums earned the band a growing fan base in Europe. However the band would not have success in the United States until later albums. The band drew controversy with its fourth album, Supercharger, which was released three weeks after the September 11th attacks and resulted in their songs and music video for the song, Crashing Around You, being pulled from all media outlets. The band nearly disbanded in 2002 after negotiating off its label Roadrunner Records as a result of the controversy. However the band would eventually re-sign with the label. After experimenting with elements of groove metal and new metal in their early releases, Machine Head changed to a more traditional thrash metal sound with its sixth album, The Blackening, which drew critical acclaim and was chosen as Album of the Decade by Metal Hammer in 2010. The album's first single, Aesthetics of Hate, also earned the band its first Grammy Award nomination. The band would continue to experiment with genres in later releases. Machine Head has released nine studio albums, two live albums, one video album, 13 singles and 15 music videos. Four of the band's albums have been certified silver in the United Kingdom, and the band's highest peak on the Billboard 200 came with its eighth album, Bloodstone and Diamonds, at number 21, to date. The band has sold over 3 million records worldwide. Formation and Burn My Eyes, 1991-1996 Machine Head were formed on October 12, 1991, in Oakland, California by vocalist-slash-guitarist Rob Flynn and bassist Adam Duce. Flynn had recently parted ways with Violence after a physical fight between the band members and a local gang. He still had a desire to write music and along with Duce recruited guitarist Logan Madder and drummer Tony Costanza to form Machine Head. The band's name was thought of by Flynn, because it sounded cool. Despite the popular belief that it came from the Deep Purple album of the same name, the band started jamming in a local warehouse shared with four punk rock bands. Machine Head recorded a demo in a friend's bedroom. Funded with $800, a record executive representing Roadrunner Records listened to the demo and signed the band. Machine Head entered Fantasy Studios in Berkeley, California to record its debut album Burn My Eyes. Not long into production, Constanza left the band and was replaced by Chris Contos. Most of the songs on the album were songs written by Flynn and Duce during the time Flynn was not in a band, about, being pissed off. From his previous struggles in violence, as well as both of their battles with illegal drugs. Produced by Colin Richardson, the album was released on August 9, 1994. The album shipped nearly 400,000 copies worldwide becoming Roadrunner Records' best-selling debut album. Our music reviewer John Frank stated, Burn My Eyes is a bone-shattering exercise in brutality. Not long after Burn My Eyes' release Machine had started touring heavily in support of the album, opening for Slayer in Europe in the latter half of 1994. A tour which ended with their own headline show at the London Astoria. Following the success of the support tour the band returned to Europe for a headline tour in early 1995. Performing in the same venues they opened for Slayer. The band would return to Europe for the summer festival season, but Contos refused to tour and the band drafted Walter Ryan for the festival dates. On the band's return to the US Contos was fired, because he was not keeping to touring commitments. Contos went on to play drums with Testament, and was replaced by Dave McLean. The more things change, and the burning red, 1997, 2 triple O. 
After touring for Burn My Eyes, Machine Head entered the studio to record its second studio album, The More Things Change, with Richardson producing and mixing for a second time. The album was released on March 25, 1997, and debuted at number 138 on the Billboard 200 Albums chart. Machine Head toured in Europe with Napalm Death, Coal Chamber, and Skin Lab, then went on the first Ozfest for the first tours in support of the album. Madder showed up to a practice session late, high on methamphetamine, cursing it and insulting the band members, and quit the band later that day. Aru Luster replaced him and finished touring. While Madder toured with Soulfly in support of their self-titled debut album, after three years of touring and working with producer Ross Robinson, Machine Head released its third studio album, The Burning Red. On August 10, 1999, the band added new elements to its music, including rapping vocals, a move which some believe to have been influenced by Aru Luster himself. This album, along with the band's change in image and musical direction was highly criticized, with critics and fans alike accusing the band of selling out. Nevertheless, McLean stated they weren't trying to sound like popular bands, but wanted to sound different. Rick Anderson of Music stated Machine Head was sounding a bit looser and less constricted musically than they have in the past. The Burning Red became Machine Head's top-selling album for a number of years, and debuted at number 88 on the Billboard 200. Supercharger and Through the Ashes of Empires, 2001-2005 Machine Head finished touring for The Burning Red, and entered a studio with producer Johnny Kay to record Supercharger. Debuting at number 115 on the Billboard 200, the album was released on October 2, 2001. The album met the same criticism as The Burning Red, especially for the ever-present rapping vocals. Blabbermouth.net reviewer Borovoy Quinn stated Supercharger is likely to disappoint everyone who is expecting the Bay Area Quartet to return to the ultra-testosterone-charged sounds of their first two albums. Machine Head released a single for Crashing Around You, as well as a music video. The video was released several weeks after the September 11, 2001 attacks, and was banned from MTV for the depictions of falling buildings. Roadrunner Records, expecting to make a fair profit from album promotions, dropped the band's funding, causing Machine Head to leave the label. At the same time the band was leaving Roadrunner, Luster departed from the band for musical differences. By 2002, Machine Head had sold over 1.3 million albums worldwide, and overall Supercharger would go on to sell 250,000 copies worldwide, which was their lowest-selling album to date. Once the tour for the album had been completed, Machine Head and Roadrunner Records mutually decided to sever ties with regards to distribution in North America and around the world. However to fill the ties, the band released Hell Alive which was a recording of a Brixton Academy London set. In 2002 Aru Luster left the band and was temporarily replaced by Phil Demel, who played in thrash band Violence alongside Flynn. Demel played some festival shows with Machine Head. Then with Phil not being able to commit to the band, he and Machine Head parted ways. The remainder of the band starting writing songs for the next album, and hoping to get signed to a record label. They recorded a short demo, including a radio-style song called Pins and Needles, and an electronic press kit for the companies, also hoping they can get signed on the strength of their previous efforts. Nearly every record label in the music industry rejected the four-track demo. After Machine Head's European tour, Aru Luster returned to his family business and the band started writing together as a three-piece, while leaving a position open for Demel. In March 2003, Demel joined Machine Head as a full-time guitarist and started writing with the band. By June 2003, Machine Head entered a studio with Flynn producing. On October 27, 2003, Machine Head released Through the Ashes of Empires in Europe. The band was turned down by multiple record labels in the United States, until Roadrunner USA, interested in the new album, offered Machine Head another record contract. Machine Head accepted the offer on the grounds that the band owns 100% of the music. On April 20, 2004, 
Through the Ashes of Empires was released in the United States with a bonus track for the Americans' long wait for the album's release. The album debuted at number 88 on the Billboard 200. The band released a single for Imperium, the video for which received heavy rotation on MTV. Eduardo Rivadavia of All Music stated through the Ashes of Empires, marked a return to form in no uncertain terms. Machine Head headlined the True Metal stage at the 2005 Work and Open Air Festival to 40,000 fans, the band's largest headlining crowd at the time. The band released a DVD containing a full sold-out concert held at the Brixton Academy in December 2004, a documentary, and music videos. The DVD debuted at number 13 on the US music video charts. They also played in Dubai for the annual Dubai Desert Rock Festival in 2005. This was their first show in the Middle East. The band also played at the farewell concert of Boos and Onkels on the Euro Speedway Lausitz. The Blackening, 2006-2009 Machine Head's sixth studio album, titled The Blackening, was released in North America on March 27, 2007. It entered the Billboard 200 at number 53, the highest charging position for the band at that time. With first week sales of 15,000, it also made the top 20 in several European countries. Rob Flynn stated during an interview that the band are fans of Rush and received a great deal of influence from their album A Farewell to Kings while creating The Blackening. The album received positive reviews from music critics, with some labeling it the best metal album of 2007. Blabbermouth.net reviewer Don K awarded the album a 9.5 out of 10, saying The Blackening is one of the purest finest, most powerful expressions of modern heavy metal released, and compared it to the 1986 Metallica album Master of Puppets, while Elle Music editor Tom Urich described the album as an over-the-top rage, and pummelfist with all the qualities that earned the group its enormous fan base by touring and recording, praising the songs Beautiful Morning, Halo, and Now I Lay Thee Down, Rolling Stone reviewer Randy Green however, responded negatively as he was displeased with the songs running over 10 minutes. Machine Head toured North America with Lamb of God, Trivium and Gajira in early 2007 to promote The Blackening, and opened for Megadeth and Heaven and Hell in April 2007. A European tour saw the band make an appearance at the Download Festival in Donington Park. Shortly after, the band announced a co-headlining tour of Japan, Europe, and Australia titled The Black Crusade from October to December. Other bands on the bill included Trivium, Arch Enemy, Dragon Force, and Shadows Fall. On June 12, 2007, at the Metal Hammer Golden Gods Awards, the band won the award for Best Album, and Flynn won the Golden God Award. Machine Head also won Best Album at the Kerrang! Awards 2007. The band replaced Bullet for My Valentine supporting Metallica's Wembley Stadium show on Sunday, July 8, 2007, as Bullet for My Valentine's vocalist Matt Tuck required a tonsillectomy. Machine Head also toured North America with Hell Yeah, Nonpoint and Bury Your Dead in early 2008. Machine Head recently completed a world tour where they played Bengaluru, India, Israel, and Dubai, UAE in March 2008. In October 2008 the band toured in Australia with Slipknot. The band then toured Europe with Slipknot and Children of Bodom in November and December. The band recorded a version of Iron Maiden's classic, Hallowed Be Thy Name, for a Kerrang! tribute compilation album, entitled Maiden Heaven, a tribute to Iron Maiden. This song was played live multiple times since its release, and has become a permanent in their current touring setlists. Amongst other bands who appeared on the album were label mates, Dream Theater and Trivium. It was announced on August 10, 2008 that Machine Head and Austin, Texas-based band The Sword would be opening for Metallica at 10 shows in January 2009. In a recent interview conducted with Phil Demel, he revealed that with Machine Head's upcoming touring commitments, the band would not have chance to write a follow-up album until at least 2010 for an expected 2011 release date. 
Machine Head toured with The Sword in Metallica's World Magnetic Tour for the Death Magnetic album from 2008 to 2009. Machine Head also opened for Megadeth, Slayer, and Suicide Silence on the Canadian Carnage Tour in late June. Machine Head reportedly cancelled their appearance at Sonosphere Festival in the UK, because they had disagreements with the staff over their slot. They thought they should play after Limp Bizkit. However, a week before the Sonosphere Festival took place on August 1st and 2nd, Machine Head agreed to take back their slot below Limp Bizkit. Their appearance was kept secret until the day they played. In August 2009, they won the Inspiration Award at the 2009 Kerrang! Awards. It was announced on the August 31st that Machine Head would tour through Europe and UK in 2010 with Hate Breed, Bleeding Through, and All Shall Perish in what will be known as The Black Procession, as well as adding dates for an Australian and New Zealand tour cycle in March. This will be the last time the band tour in support of The Blackening before writing the next album, as Dave McLean described in an interview before their Belfast show in Northern Ireland. Under the Locust, 2010-2012, in November 2010, Machine Head began writing and demoing new material for their seventh studio album, Unto the Locust. With Rob Flynn acting as producer, Machine Head officially began recording the album on April 16, 2011 at Green Day's Jingletown Studios in Oakland, California. In the summer of 2011, Machine Head toured as a part of the Rockstar Mayhem Festival. During the tour, the band debuted a new song off of Unto the Locust, entitled, Locust. The song was later released on Amazon and iTunes on June 14, 2011. Under the Locust was released on September 27, 2011, to critical acclaim. The album charted in several countries, including number 22 in the US and at number 5 in Germany. After the release of Under the Locust, Machine Head began its Eight Plague tour and during the first European leg, the band was supported by Bring Me the Horizon, Devil Driver and Darkest Hour. On the North American leg, Machine Head was supported by Suicide Silence, Darkest Tower, and Rise to Remain. In 2012, Machine Head headlined the Soundwave Festival in Australia. The band also played at the 2012 Download Festival, Metalcamp, Grass Pop Festivals, as well as headlined both Bloodstock Open Air and the Wacken Festival. Machine Head were also scheduled to be part of the first ever Mayhem Festival cruise, until it was cancelled. On September 10, Machine Head announced a North American tour with Death Clock, All That Remains, and Black Dahlia Murder, beginning with a warm-up show on October 24. The tour starts on October 30 and ends on December 8. On September 14, Machine Head won the Best International Band Award at the 2012 Metal Hammer Awards in Berlin, Germany. On October 1, Machine Head announced the release of Machine Fucking Head Live, the band's first live album since 2003's Hell Alive. The album featured 15 live recordings from the band's various 2011-2012 tours and was released on November 13 on a two-disc set or download with four bonus tracks. With pre-orders of the album having a six-track rarities and besides EP, on November 13, Machine Head announced cancellation of their North American tour dates from the 13th to the 23rd due to Rob Flynn requiring emergency surgery to treat an inguinal hernia. In a November 2012 interview, Machine Head guitarist Phil Demmel revealed that the band planned to begin writing new material for their eighth studio album in 2013 and hopes that they will begin recording it before the end of that year. Bloodstone and Diamonds, 2013-2015 on February 22, 2013, the band announced that bassist-slash-founding member Adam Duce left the band, albeit on friendly terms. Four days later, Rob Flynn revealed in his online blog that he fired Adam Duce because of ongoing differences. His departure makes Flynn the only remaining original member. As of March 2013, Unto the Locust has sold 100,000 copies in the United States.
making it their third quickest selling album behind the Blackening and Supercharger which have sold 260,000 in two weeks and 250,000 copies in four months in the United States respectively. The band began the process of searching for a temporary bassist for the 2013 Rockstar Energy Drink Mayhem Festival in the US for a limited time. The band accepted and reviewed YouTube submissions. On June 24, 2013 the band announced that former Sanctity Rhythm guitarist and vocalist Jared McEachin has joined the band as their new bassist. Rob Flynn said of McEachin, Monty Connor recommended Jared since he was already on the tour, and that ended up being a great call. Jared flew out a few days before the tour and rehearsed with us and did great. Phil Demel continued, Dash, there were dozens of amazing players, and it was interesting to watch each one take on our tunes. One of our biggest criteria for this gig was to be able to sing the high harmonies. That was our litmus test, and Jared passed with flying colors. On October 2, 2013 the band announced that it signed to Nuclear Blast. In February 2014, the band entered the studio to record their new album. Bloodstone and Diamonds, for a late summer release. In early 2014, Duce filed a lawsuit against his former band and manager in federal court, for trademark infringement, breach of fiduciary duty, breach of partnership agreement, intentional and negligent interference with prospective economic relations, negligence, defamation and unfair competition, and he wants the band enjoined from using the machine head marks. The lawsuit was settled out of court on July 2 with undisclosed terms. In August 2014, Rob Flynn announced the track listing for Bloodstone and Diamonds, consisting of 12 tracks along with its artwork. Bloodstone and Diamonds was released in November 2014 to positive reviews from fans and critics alike with many saying how the addition of McEachin brought a sense of rejuvenation to the band. The band embarked on a lengthy world tour in support of the album, including a leg of European shows, two American legs and various others in Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to?